Hello and welcome to Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is Automatic Negative Thoughts, um, number eight. So here's Phil, hi Phil, and I are just kind of hanging out in the car. Um, such a beautiful day today, and we're talking about ants and volleyballs, and um, ants mean automatic negative thoughts, and we've tried to record this a few times and Phil's getting frustrated with ants. So, I'm doing it by myself. So, anyway, um, we're, we're talking about ants, which is those negative thoughts that kind of flood you when you have um, things happening to you that you can't control. Like with Phil's daughter, um, there was uh, an incident that happened that was really disturbing to him and he was flooded with ants saying you know she was kind of trapped she was kind of set up um anything else no mm -hmm. um and she had to face consequences for behavior that she didn't take care of something that she had to take care of that she wasn't taking care of it and that flooding of the circular thoughts for phil um, was that she didn't deserve to be treated that way um, by pe people, however you want to, how do you want to say it? Uh, just things that happened to her that were negative. So. Yeah, she, she did, uh, she did have some serious consequences to face for her um, choices of not taking care of her um, cleaning up her situation and we all have situations we all have things that we need to clean up so she's not like a terrible person or anything like that it's just that she didn't take care of it and then she had those consequences for it and those um, thoughts were flooding Phil's um, he were flooding you yeah. and it was you know she didn't deserve this she didn't deserve to be treated like this no. no person deserves to be treated like that you know being trapped or being set up i disrespected her yes with, with her dignity and stuff so he was he was having these repetitive um thoughts attack him and um so i love you i love you too it'll be okay yep and um so, and then, like, this morning we were getting ready and Phil was kind of having a little hard time with, um, like, being in a rush to get there. Get me out of bed. Get me out of bed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you're having ants right now. But I didn't identify what they were if they were, you know, like, he, he should have got there yesterday or if it was um, that they're going to be angry with me for for um you know getting there late or how much is this going to cost me um to fix the, the vehicle all kinds of things right and um so yeah any other things that flooded you lately mm -mm. but do you notice when you get flooded do you notice that it's happening yep and do you say it can you say it out loud when when it's happening, saying, this is my thought, mm -hmm. and then squash it, Yep. and then replace it. Yep. Can you do that? Sure. Cool. That's all I can ask. So, and a lot of times that takes a lot of practice because you're not used to saying things like that out loud. So, yeah. Anything else? All right. So, we wish you lots of sunshine and Good luck today, and anything else? Nope. Anything else you want to say? No. Nope. I love you, baby. I love you too, sweetie. Mwah. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.